Gamarjuba. Hi everyone, I'm here in uh, uh, Georgia Botanical Garden. I'm in the National Botanical Garden. And the entrance here is only for uh, two uh, lari. And uh, upon the entry, they will give you a map. So uh, it's like a guide if you're coming alone. And in order for you, where you're going to stop for a restaurant, uh, WC, and many more stuff. So here is the, it's, the place is just located in the southern part of Tbilisi. Just right after you came down from uh, Narikara Fortress. So the first route, uh, if you want to visit the, this area, is take uh, the right part. And, but unfortunately, since it's two weeks, it's uh, out of uh, service due to construction uh, and maintenance work. Uh, so what you're going to do, another option is uh, if you are familiar with the place or if you are in a group, there's another way to climb up from the uh, Tbilisi Center. But since I'm uh, alone and I'm really tired work, uh, walking since uh, I've been walking for seven days, and uh, what you are going to do is just take a cab or a taxi. It's about 20 lari uh, fare. And maybe if you will be in a group, it's much better because you're going to share the, the fare. And you're gonna stop with the mother uh, of uh, Georgia. Then after that, you're just gonna walk five minutes to Na Naritara Fortress. You just roam around maybe 15, 20 minutes, uh, it's up to you. And then after that, you have to come down here. Then you will find the botanical garden. And after this botanical garden, just uh, the left side is the Abano Tubani, where you will find the sulfur bath. Uh, yeah, sulfur bath. And there's also a section for women and men. So here in the botanical garden, you will see different types of spices, uh, flowers, uh, trees, and uh, medicinal uh, plants as well. So I'm gonna show you the place. So if you will see the structure of the building, this is the part of Naricola Fortress. And here, going inside, it's like a huge botanical garden that you have to walk to. Uh, maybe I'm just going to spend here like one hour or one hour and a half yeah, and it has also like a river falls like river thingy small falls here and there's a lot of walls of tourists so on this area And every station is different, uh, like signage where you're going. Hello, hi. Gamarjava. Gamarjava. So, Gamarjava is saying hi to people, the local people here. So, uh, majority people here, the local people, they don't speak English. So you have to try yourself to study or to, to say at least a few words of uh, Georgian. And, but while they're speaking, if you don't speak Georgian, if you know how to speak in Russian, then it will be good for you. So for my days spending in uh, Georgia, I have learned to say Kabarjuba. Uh, Madluba, then if you were gonna say Madluba, if someone was gonna say to you Madluba, you have to say Araprest. And then if you're gonna say no, you have to say Ara. And if you have to say yes, you have to say Ki. So this is the basic one. And whew, it's like an adventure trail for me. It's like a, a low weight program. You're gonna spend whole week just walking around the country. Mostly uh, Georgia is rich in natural uh, resources such as dam, uh, river, lake, mountains, gardens, and they have a lot of fruits also here. So you're gonna try it out and it's cheap. Mostly it's like per kilo is one lari 
or two lari if you want to buy orange uh, the local apples is like two lari or three lari and food also is not much expensive if you go to the restaurant by yourself uh, if you're gonna order, order like appetizer one main course and a drink it's gonna cost you around only uh, 30 lari or 40 lari maximum if you're gonna buy an alcoholic drink so this is it see it's a greenery natural beauty of Georgia So I'm gonna stop this video recording now because I don't have much of battery and I don't have my um, power bank with me. It wasn't charged yesterday because I was like really exhausted from the tour. I've been walking all over that mountain in Bardziga. So Madluba, thank you for watching and see you next time in my next video. Goodbye.